Let's see. Thanks, Mitch. Uh, no more dry signal. Forget the dry signal. Oh, wait. What's happening here? Oh, I think it's... Never mind. Pretty neat. Strawn says, I I've got Mood and Blooper getting delivered today on the same day. Man, that's, that's, that's exciting. You're going to be overwhelmed, my guy. You better have been studying those manuals ahead of time. You, be you better be ready to flip some switches, some dip switches. Are you going to get back there and flip those switches, Strawn? Or are you afraid of those little guys? Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of the dip switches, look. Shit. Uh, the dip switches are so good. You gotta flip them. You gotta- don't be scared of this, okay? Do not be scared of the dip switches. You gotta switch them. Here, there's octave down reverse, I think. So this is just blooper. Like I'm I'm bypassing the parallel mixer now basically. I'm not none of the returns are up. So it's just basically dry signal through all the way to blooper. Um, everything in this circle, auto bit, the two old blood noise and the T120, those are all parallel in the thing. So what that basically means is T120 is listening to preamp on its own. Auto bit is listening to preamp on its own. And then the sunlight and dark star are listening to preamp on their own. But these two can't talk to this or the or this. Does that make sense? Oh my god, they let you download content from Kane. Hold on. I've got the OG file now, folks. High bitrate, H.264, we've got it. If they, Even if they take this down, I still have this. Oh, there is no audio. I can just... I could... <laughs> should I download all these videos? <laughs> Why would anyone want to download these? I'm doing it. I'm definitely doing it. Hey, sorry, Dab. This is, you'll never find content like this anywhere else, folks. This is completely original. You guys are just, You guys are so lucky. Oh, there was one thing I needed to do. Okay, here, folks. So I need to reset up the boomerang... <laughs> I have to reset up the the, the functions because you've got four functions you can do with without having the sidecar on. These two buttons. There's the tap function of just tapping them, and then there's the function when you hold them and you can set it. So I need to change that because I currently don't have the ability to stack on top of my own uh, loops, and you know you're gonna want to do that. I think. Well, so, okay, folks, I'm going to take this bit, f we're going to go full, we're, g we're going to do this right now, is that okay? I'm going to do the, the slow-mo chicken stuff. Okay, so Strawn wants to know about the, oh my gosh, I'm going to figure it all out eventually. Wants to know about the flatlight and super ego. And I'll, I'll do it by turning off the loop. All right, no more loop. Folks, I'm going to play an actual guitar. Can you believe it?
Flatline and super ego. Let's make it so there's noise. Tap. Tap. Tuner off. There we go. We got sound, folks. So, so here's the deal with the Flatlight and Super Ego. They are in a parallel loop together, so Super Ego into Flatlight uh, in Matrice. So if I want to send my dry signal to Super Ego, I turn up this bottom right knob. That's just how I have it set up. It's kind of, the, the Matrix Mixer setup can, can break brains for sure, but all you need to know is that I'm sending my dry signal to Super Ego by turning this knob up. And then, we go into Super Ego, into Flatlight, out of Flatlight, and back into the, the thing. And then I turn this knob up to hear the output of that channel. So I've just turned that up. And again, so if I turn it back down and play chords or whatever, it's just clean. But then if I turn the output up for that channel, and I know I'll talk about the Flatlight Super Ego together in a second, but... So you hear it pulling in the, or outputting the sound that's there. But now if I play, you'll hear it kind of follow along. Like that. So there's that, and then I can turn my dry signal off right here, if I want. And then it just swells, so... Maybe this answers your question a little bit, Peanut Butter Toast Guy, but the Super Ego is a one way that I re remove attack now. Because you literally have an attack knob, <laughs> you can roll it back. So then I'll, I'll, I'll hold on this chord. And I'll actually turn down my input, so I just rolled down the input to it. So I can actually play now. And it won't do anything. Um, but the flat light trick with the super ego is just like setting it up so it does these little growls. And I've definitely done a video on this on Patreon for sure. Here, I'm gonna turn uh, the stereo stuff off. You can kind of hear, you can hear the flat light doing the flanging. But where it gets good is when the depth gets higher. Turn the shift up. So you hear those low end swells that happen? Right there. So that's the flat light. It's because it's a super low rate. It's like the resonant stuff is popping out. I'll turn the rate up so you can... Like, that's what it sounds like at higher rate. What if you make it really slow like that? You get really cool, like, resonances that pop out. Uh, Mitch, I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Dude, the Super Ego is... is amazing. I love it. I kind of don't know why people are into it. It's funny because Electro Harmonics, they put out cool pedals, like they did the Freeze, right? They did Freeze, and then Super Ego, and then the Super Ego Plus, this one. And I feel like each one of those like solved a problem that the other pedals had, so the Freeze is just like really bright and harsh. Well, and actually so is the Super Ego, the regular Super Ego. But the thing with this one is there's a, there's a filter on it, um, I can go an octave down, that's what I'm doing. The effect, basically the effects section makes it like, oh, now this is now exactly what I want. Um, yeah, the Enzo can do similar stuff, but I find it a bit hard to control. And the other thing, oh, here, answering another question of yours, Peanut Butter Guy, and I definitely did do a video of this on Patreon, but, um, the Pog 2, I have a setting that removes all the attack, and it sounds really good. Um, and I say that to say that Electro Harmonics, when they do attack and release stuff, so there's the attack slider here, and then Super Ego Plus has the attack and decay knobs, it just, like, works so well. Like, whatever the algorithm is, 
it never misses transients i feel like there's other pedals or other stuff that's supposed to be like you know reacting to your transient and it feels like it misses sometimes you know i just feel like however they have it coded or, or designed is like works super well And then I'm gonna go in comb mode on sunlight because that's my favorite one. So this is I'm I'm killing my dry signal at super ego right now. Let's do microcosm now. So I like I just like mosaic mode a lot. So the microcosm's just listening to the octave swells from Super Ego. And Polymoon's doing some stereo delay right now. Well, this is kind of cool, huh? Has the stream stayed okay? It looks like it has. Yeah, isn't that cool? Here, I'll hold this in microcosm. Pretty good, huh? 